An announcement on the construction of a new maximum security prison could come as early as next week. Acting Commissioner of Corrections Don Clare says it is of major importance for BDOCs that has on average 1,500 prisoners. Clare had hopes construction would have begun last January, but it was delayed after plans had to be downsized. The current structure of maximum security prison was designed for punitive measures. No windows, no toilets in the cells, no bed facilities, person sleeping on a concrete floor. That's, 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 that's a recipe for disaster right there from the, from the beginning. But if you want to, if you want to, um, uh, uh, to, to, to uh, bring a humanistic approach uh, to this, this, this um, uh, uh, reform, we have to build facilities that has these amenities. And, and once we have these amenities, we can then put these persons in classes, train them, let them see psychiatrists, let them see a sociologist, and we will do our best now to, to, to actually um, give them the climate to, 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 um, uh, to excel. He says, as it stands, officials are limited in what they can do with inmates due to the limited space. This building here housed the training for inmates and staff. We may put 25 persons in the classroom when we, are, when we have over 300 persons who are trying to get into the same class. Lack of facilities. We do need a new facility, and we need it quickly and urgently. And once we get that, you know, I can guarantee you in the next three, four years, you will see a drastic reduction in crime in the Bahamas. In case you missed the news or want to stay ahead, subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on X, TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook.